everyone you're welcome to solve this nice math problem here which is 2 to the power of 9 to the power of x divided by 8 to the power of 3 raised to the power of x this is equal to 1 over 4 so what is what are the values of x now let's provide a solution from here so we have 2 to the power of 9 raised to the power of x divided by 8 raised to the power of 3 raised to the power of x this is equal to 1 over 4 now we can express 8 as 2 to the power of 3 so that now we have 2 to the power of 9 raised to the power of x divided by 2 to the power of 3 raised to the power of 3 raised to the power of x this is equal to 1 over 4 now we have 2 to the power of 9 raised to the power of x here divided by now this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3 remember this is 3 raised to the power of 1 times 3 raised to the power of x this is equal to 1 over 4. We can express 4 as 2 to the power of 2. So we have 1 over 2 raised to the power of 2. The next step is that 2 to the power of 9 raised to the power of x divided by 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 1 times 3 to the power of x. This is in the form of a to the power of n divided by a to the power of m, which we can express as a to the power of n minus m so this implies that here we have 2 to the power of 9 raised to the power of x then subtract here we have 3 to the power of 1 multiplying by 3 to the power of x this is equal to 1 over 2 to the power of 2 now the next step from here, the next step from here, 1 over 2 to the power of 2, this is in the form of 1 over a to the power of n, which we can express as a to the power of minus n. So let's apply this property so that now here we have 2 to the power of 9 raised to the power of x, subtract 3 to the power of 1 times 3 to the power of x, this is equal to 2 to the power of minus 2. Now, since the bases are common here, that is a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m. Since the bases are common, exponent n is equal to m. And this implies that we have 9 to the power of x, subtract 3 raised to the power of 1, times 3 to the power of x, this is equal to minus 2. The next step is that we can express 9 to the power of x as 3 to the power of 2 raised to the power of x minus 3 raised to the power of 1 times 3 to the power of x, this is equal to minus 2. The next step is that 3 to the power of 2 raised to the power of x, this is in the form of a to the power of n, raised to the power of m which we can express as a to the power of m raised to the power of n therefore we have 3 to the power of x raised to the power of 2 minus 3 to the power of 1 times 3 to the power of x this is equal to minus 2 the next step is that we can let 3 to the power of x b equal to u so that now here we have u squared minus 3 times u which is 3u this is equal to minus 2 let's take minus 2 on the left hand side so we have u squared minus 3u plus 2 this is equal to 0 this is a quadratic equation here which we can solve by factorization 
whereby we have the product here is equal to to 2 we have the sum is equal to minus 3 so let's identify two factors let's identify two factors if we multiply those two factors we get a value of 2 if we sum those two factors we get a value of 3 so we have minus 2 and minus 1 now substituting these two factors then we have u squared minus 2u minus u then plus 2 this is equal to 0 we have two parts here from the first part we have that u is common so we can factor out u so that we have u minus 2 then subtract in the second part here one is common so we can factor out one so that we have u minus 2 this is equal to 0 so since u minus 2 is common here so we have u minus 2 and then we have u minus 1 so we have u minus 1 this is equal to 0 so this implies that we have two parts here we have u minus 2 this is equal to 0 and we have u minus 1 this is equal to 0 so we have that u1 is equal to 2 and here we have u2 is equal to 1 now if you recall if you recall we are saying that let 3 to the power of x be equal to u so let's substitute u1 here so we have 3 to the power of x this is equal to 2 to solve for x here we introduce logarithm on both sides we have rog 3 to the power of x this is equal to rog 2 rog 3 to the power of x this is in the form of rog a to the power of n which can be expressed as n rog a so applying this power rule property rog 3 to the power of x becomes x rog 3 this is equal to rog 2 so let's divide both sides by rog 3 by rog 3 so that now here we have that x is equal to this is rog 2 divided by rog 3 so rog 2 over rog 3 this is in the form of rog a over rog b which we can express as rog a to base b so that now the first value of x that is x1 is equal to rog 2 to base 3 so this is x1 this is the value of x1 So this is the first value of x1, which is rog 2 to base 3. Now, we can solve for the second value of x. If you recall, we have that u2 is equal to 1. As you can see from here, u2 is equal to 1. So we have that 3 to the power of x. This is equal to u2, which is equal to 1. So we have 3 to the power of x. This is equal to 1. We can express 1. Remember, if you have a to the power of 0, this is the same thing as 1. So this means that 3 to the power of x, this is equal to 3 to the power of 0. Since the bases are common here, x2 is equal to 0. So we have two values of x here. We have x1 is equal to rog 2 to base 3. And we have that x2 is equal to 0. So the next step is to verify that these two values of x satisfies the equation. Now let's verify that x1 which is rock 2 to base 3 and x2 which is 0 satisfies the equation. Now if you recall we have that 2 to the power of 9 raised to the power of x divided by 8 raised to the power of 3 to the power of x this is equal to 1 over 4 this should give us a value of 1 over 4 so let's start with x1 which is rock 2 to base 3 so we have 2 to the power of 9 raised to the power of rock 2 to base 3 divided by 8 raised to the power of 3, raised to the power of rog 
2 to base 3. This is supposed to give us a value of 1 over 4. Something to note here, we can express 9 as 3 to the power of 2, and we can express 8 as 2 to the power of 3. So therefore, we have 2 to the power of 3 raised to the power of 2 rog 2 to base 3 divided by 8, which is 2 to the power of 3 raised to the power of 3 raised to the power of rog 2 to base 3. This is supposed to give us a value of 1 over 4. So, 2 is a power here, so we can express this as 2 to the power of 3 raised to the power of rog 2 squared to base 3 divided by, here we have 2 to the power of 3 multiplied by 3 to the power of rog 2 to base 3. This should give us a value of 1 over 4. Now, the next step from here is that 3 to the power of rog 2 squared to base 3 and 3 to the power of rog 2 to base 3. This is in the form of a to the power of rog b to base a, which essentially is equal to b. So this implies that 3 to the power of rog 2 squared to base 3, this is equal to 2 squared, which is 4. And we have that 3 to the power of rog 2 to base 3, that is to the power of rog 2 to base 3, this is equal to 2. Now, substituting 3 to the power of rog 2 squared to base 3 with 4, and substituting 3 to the power of rog 2 to base 3 with 2, this means that we have 2 to the power of 4 divided by, here we have 2 to the power of 3 raised to the power of 2. This is supposed to give us a value of 1 over 4. 2 to the power of 4, that is 2 to the power of 4, this is equal to 16. And 2 to the power of 3, this is equal to 8. So therefore we have 16 divided by 8 squared. This should give us a value of 1 over 4. So this means that here we have 16 divided by 8 squared. This is 64. So let's divide everything here by 16, by 16, 1. 64 divided by 16, this is 4. So we have 1 over 4 on the left-hand side. This is equal to 1 over 4 on the right add side. So the left-hand side is equal to the right add side. And this proves that x1, which is rog 3 to base 2, that is rog 2 to base 3, satisfies the equation. Let's check x2, which is equal to 0. We have x2, which is equal to 0. Let's check this. Now, if you recall, we have that 2 to the power of 9 raised to the power of x divided by 8 to the power of 3 raised to the power of x here. This should give us a value of 1 over 4. So let's substitute 0 here so that we have 2 to the power of 9 raised to the power of 0 divided by 8 raised to the power of 3 raised to the power of 0. This should give us a value of 1 over 4. We have that a raised to the power of 0. This is the same thing as 1. This implies that this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 9 to the power of 0. This is 1 divided by 8 raised to the power of 3 to the power of 0. This is the same thing as 1. So this should give us a value of 1 over 4. So this is 2 over 8. This should be equal to 1 over 4. So let's simplify here. 2 divided by 2, this is 1. 8 divided by 2, this is 4. So 1 over 4, this is equal to 1 over 4. So the left-hand side, 
is equal to the right add side and this confirms that x2 here which is 0 also satisfies the equation so kindly of follow the steps like this video and please subscribe please like this video and subscribe see you in the next video bye bye for now